Or is he for sale? So uh, the pairing on this clutch was a black pastel pie to a yellow belly pie. So the whole clutch comes out pied because um, that's the way genetics work. And these are uh, yellow belly pods. So this one, this one I think is the male. This one's uh, female. Mm -hmm. uh, really love you know how yellow belly works in pied. Obviously, I'm a big fan of it and I have a lot of. Uh, a lot of it and a lot of hits. Um, I previously discussed how yellow belly is influenced with the hip pod stuff. Um, you know, Justin kind of brought yellow belly to the scene on the pods. It's definitely one of his favorite genes too. So, really unique looking. It's uh, it's crazy though, uh, how much of a difference you got. I mean, these are both just yellow belly pods. Right. But this one just has way more pattern um, than this one. So. That's one of the downsides to yellow belly pod is sometimes you can get a lot of patterns, sometimes you can get hardly any pattern. So adding things like inchy and blackhead pinstripe will bring a lot of pattern back to it. But you know, sometimes yellow belly pods are just high white. It's just all, all there is to it. So I mean, I don't know which one I like better. If I don't like the high white ones or if I like these low whites. Uh, you um, know, I think I think each snake. It, it depends on, on the snake. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. Um, when I started uh, creating pods, I never had the money to buy the first pods right. that, that I had. I still have them. I, I had yeah. to make them from hits. Right. And during that time frame, everybody wanted high white mm -hmm. pods. Right. Like that was that was the goal. You know, you to get as much white on the pod as possible. Same thing with like blue eye Lucy's. You know, blue eye Lucy's were Which still because they're trying deal. to get an all white snake. They're trying to make an all white snake. I mean, that's cool. Uh, in that time frame, that's just the way it was. Right. Um, and as time progressed, a couple of years later, we started in general. I say we as in you know the community. Really? Um, started realizing that when you start adding multiple genes to pods. You needed to have pattern there in order to be able to ID what genetics were inside of that pod. So most people now prefer, you know, a pattern more like this, right? Um, or even less white, so that you can tell the genetics or like, what the genetics are. Like some of those that you have just have the little the little ringer here of white and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are some pie. I have I have a breeder pod that doesn't have any white on it. Right. Um, well, it's, yeah, I remember that. We were talking about that one, and it was just, you have to realize what it is. Right. That's right. So, I mean, I'm pied. <laughs> you know, but like you just said, the individual snake matters to me. Yeah. Like, I like this snake, it's cool, but I really like this one too. See, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, 
the opposite. All right. I like this one, but I really like that one. Yeah. So if I were picking genetically, mm -hmm. power to use in genetics, I'm probably going to go with this one because I know later down the line I'm going to incorporate more genes. Right. Um, and I want to have more patterns so that I can ID that stuff. Mm -hmm. But visually, I like the way this snake looks, uh, especially back behind the neck area. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it looks really cool. As an adult, I think this snake, to me, as an adult, this snake will look better than this snake. I agree. So, yeah. So, that's, we have, you have to look at it from a different side than I'm looking at it from. I'm looking at it from, I'm, ooh. If I'm buying cool. just a pet, yeah. I'm probably going to go with this. If I'm buying it for a breeding perspective, I'm probably going to buy this. Mm -hmm. So, it's in to each their own. So Yeah. Alright, so one thing that's really unique about this clutch is we really didn't freaking know what black pastel yellow belly pie was going to look like. Mm -hmm. So, you know how much I love black pastel and yellow belly. <laughs> so, I'll put this one up because he's a wiggle worm. Wiggle worm. I'm, I'm interested in this. I might end up having to get me a pie now. I know a guy with pods. You do? I do. You know a guy? Mm -hmm. You send him my information. I'll buy it. Okay. Bye. Oh, you God almighty. So this, I think, is just black pastel pot. And we have one. That one is a boy. I have a girl from another clutch. And that's super high white. That's like, um, just the head. Yep. Right. What was the ones that did just the head? Um, white weddings or something like that? That was, um, spider pods? Yeah, spider pods. It was just the heads? Yep. See, and that's kind of cool, too. Well, it's kind of like you retick. Your retic has like pod markings on his face as opposed to on the body. And but all the all these seem to have where it's just just their head coming off. Yeah. I dig see I dig that. Who calls? Davenport. Oh Davenport. Davenport will call you back. Always Davenport. He's wanting to be on the show, that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, um that's so cool. Black pastel pod female. Uh, this girl is a twin and mm -hmm. was a smaller twin. Um but she's doing fine and growing. I think she's now she's listed. Um, but th this is also a black past pa black pastel pod. I think. I don't think this has yellow belly. So the reason why I don't think that has yellow belly is because of these other two. The reason why I don't think this is black pastel pod is I mean black pastel yellow belly pod is because I think this is black pastel yellow belly pod along with this one. You got a little mustache. The okay. milk mustache. It's the milk mustache. Yep. So I was just I was literally just talking about it. how cool is that? Yep. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, Milky, you staying with us? Or is he for sale? Uh so this is a girl. She okay. is she is for sale. Yeah, and really. the reason why I think that these have yellow belly is because of the saddles. See how black pastel usually gives on the saddles they usually give a um the two lines here on the, mm -hmm. on the dorsal, these don't have that. The yellow belly kind of takes that away. And you don't have it in the tail pattern either. Oh, that makes sense. And if you look at the tail pattern, and right here, you can kind of see some pixelation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm assuming that this one is going to be black pastel yellow belly. This one, I'm certain, is black pastel yellow belly. Well, this one still has a little bit of that little milk mustache going on, too. Yep, it does. Yeah, look at that. But that's so stinking cool. I was just talking about that, and then, and there you go. So, and then... Then that one's trying to squirm away. So. If you look at the heads, the yellow belly one is a... Well, this one is the one I think is yellow belly. It's slightly different and lighter. But anyway, really cool looking clutch, so... Yeah, that's right. I was not expecting those last two. <laughs> That's, so, yeah. Girl, boy, boy, girl, and then the one from previously was, was a boy too. So two uh, two girls and three boys out of this clutch. There may be a normal pot, have been a normal pot in here too. I don't know. So what happens if you stick a pod yellow belly to a pod yellow belly? Uh, so you can make an ivory pot. Okay. So I, I had uh, recently... Um, so, but I had an OD ivory pod breeder male, right? And uh, basically, it's just a um, ivory-looking snake. That kind of you can kind of see a little bit of a pattern down dorsals and stuff like that. Well, the, the the way that you tell 
an ivory pied, all ivories have these uh, faint little dorsal strap. That's right. And the pied breaks that dorsal strap up. Okay, so that would be so a, it just kind of indicator that it kind of dashes it. Okay. Um, you know, and the OD that has the orange head and the ivory, you, know, you can just tell. It. Okay. So now, as an adult, it was more for just a white snake, but as a baby, you can you kind of like when we got those. Again, it's one of those snakes. that's like visually. It's not really super impressive, right? Um, you know, not not anything that uh, is going to blow your socks off on the way it looks, right? But it's a powerhouse snake. An orange green uh, ivory pied is 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 a powerhouse for breeding. But if I'm picking a pet, it's probably not the one I'm going to pick. Sure, it's kind of blah. With me. That makes sense. So it goes back to whatever you think you need to do with it. Well, I think we need to do something. With that. You want to do something with it? We need to do something with that. One. <laughs> we might keep her around. Maybe. So they, I think all these have had uh, looks like three or four meals. So that's ju it's just cool. They'll be on uh, they'll be on morph market pretty soon. I agree. This is a really cool snake. One of the reasons why I'm not really interested in clipping this is because I do have so much yellow belly. That's uh, true. In the pod stuff, so she doesn't bring much to the table for me. Uh, other than in, visual, and other than yeah. just visually looking cool. So just one of the things where it's probably better to just uh, let somebody else get her. But. Still really dope. Yeah, that's cool snake. So, old milk mustache. All right, that's uh, that's gonna wrap us up for today. See you next time. Be out. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics, and make sure you subscribe. Bye.